Hey guys, how are you doing? Today I want to talk to you about missions in ARC and I want to talk to you about missions in Genesis 1, Genesis 2, compare them a little bit and give you my opinion about what I think about missions in ARC and what I think how they developed. First of all, I was not the biggest fan of the missions in Genesis 1. I was a big fan of the concept, but I was not a big fan of how the missions were done. The main reason is because I think even though they put a lot of effort into integrating the missions, I think they were very similar to each other. Um, if you have done one mission in one category, you knew every other mission is going to be the same or almost the same. And that was a little bit, I don't know, a little bit disappointing because when they said, yeah, they are going to add a certain amount of missions, you thought it was like unique missions and not that it's just, I don't know how many categories it was, maybe three or four, um, that it's like basically just four missions, but you change out the dinos in the mission. That was a little bit um, a disappointment. Also that some missions were technically a little bit complicated. Let's say the hunting missions, the um, where you have to fight the brute animals, where you had to find tiny, 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 tiny little footsteps, which um, sometimes were hidden under stones, trees, and you couldn't even see them, like especially the ones in the snow. I remember that we were um, putting our screen on Gamma 1 and having a tech helmet just to try to find the missions or try to find the footsteps of the missions. It was a pain. It was a big pain. So that was n I was not a very big fan of it. I think compared to Genesis 1 and Genesis 2, they have done a lot of things very good and very right. It, there's like, I would say it's like a 300% improvement. I don't say that all of it is perfect because it is not. And I'm going to tell you soon what I think. It could have been better. But I think you can see how they learned from Genesis 1 and how they improved from everything they learned in Genesis 1 about missions and how people like the missions or dislike the missions. So let's start with the missions where I think there could have been a little changes. Uh, I'm not a big fan uh, that, the, that some of the missions are in the world, in the open world, on the map. Because we have the problem right now that our missions that we try to do sometimes end up in player bases and we can't do anything about it. So we cannot go into the base. If it's like a giant base that is closed off, that's our bad luck, I would say. <laughs> it's our bad luck. And um, that is something like they promised, yeah, we're not going to have no build zones anymore. You can build everywhere. But they forgot to mention that even if you build everywhere, you will block missions. So that is something eh, I'm, not a, I'm not a giant fan of. Then a second big thing um, that is like with the hunting missions. Especially two hunting missions have the mechanic to dismount you. It's, it's just like the main mechanic of the mission that you get dismounted and uh, that is like the big factor that makes the mission challenging. For me, dismounting should never be like uh, the main factor that does make something challenging. It should be like an additional like risk factor, but it should not be like the one mechanic that decides if you fail or if you, if you succeed. Because I know the game has been developed to run on perfect hardware uh, with low ping and no lags. But if we're honest, n no Genesis server has this situation. Like, especially Genesis 2, I think is super demanding on the hardware for the servers, super demanding on the hardware of the computers of the people playing it. So let's say you get dismounted and then you get hit by a desynced stone uh, that the Ferox is throwing and especially on alpha you're a one shot you're you're dead there's nothing you can do and that happened to me so often that i really dislike doing the ferox mission and um i think there should be like a chance to beat this without having to hope for a good server performance like 
right now if i want to do missions like this i have to join the server at 3 or 4 a.m so nobody's online and this shouldn't be a thing that said though a lot of things about these hunting missions were improved to the previous brood missions for example the footsteps are now bigger and visible i still prefer doing them at night because then I will find them for sure and they are not hidden under like foliage. But they are more visible, they are also more tolerant to not finding all of them and still progressing. I know I had on Genesis 1 like I had this issue that sometimes it would just stop showing footsteps and then you had to backtrack all the way. And then the time was too short and then you m may have wasted like 20 minutes of your life just because you forgot like one footstep so that is something i really like that it's like more tolerant and um it's more uh going towards the player to really succeed and enjoy these missions let's talk about the dolphin missions next and the dolphin missions is one uh, the one with the racing i think it's the star dolphin and uh, how was the other name? I always I, I always forget them. So but you know which ones I mean one where you have to fight the corrupted The corrupted Rockwell dude and the one where you have to do the racing So I have a big critique point in both of those missions and that's the autopilot Both missions have the strongest autopilot that I have ever experienced in any flight game the autopilot is so strong that if you are following the direction the autopilot gives you, you're oversteering so much that you are crashing into the walls and if you try to steer against it, you can't. Even though, like, let's say in the racing mission, the game offers you two different directions, directions in which you can go. If you choose the direction that the autopilot does not choose for you, it doesn't work. You have to like really steer extremely against it but then you have the problem that you might crash into the wall afterwards so that is a big problem that i have with the dolphin missions i would love to have the option to either turn the autopilot down completely or just to lower the strength of the autopilot that would be amazing but right now it is kind of a pain to navigate through the missions Another thing that I noticed with the Dolphin missions and also with the Enforcer missions is the visual effects in the game. I tried to do like the Dolphin mission where you have to beat the boss and I failed because there is so much going on and so many flickering lights and effects on the screen that I, for the love of God, cannot see where I'm going and what I'm doing. And another point is that these kind of strong visual effects can trigger a, mi a migraine in me. So I had the same issue with, um, what was it, Crystal Isles, where you go into this like snow lightning biome. If I go there and I went in there twice, like in my whole playtime in Crystal Isles, I went there twice. The first time I got a migraine that lasted for several hours and the second time I was in there just short to farm a little bit and I got super nauseous. So. Stuff like that I don't do well and if I cannot turn stuff like this off that's really bad for me because it's like preventing me to do these yeah to do these uh, to do this content in the game and with the dolphin missions and especially also with the um, enforcer mission uh, with the enforcer mission you have like these lightnings when you um, have the blink disabled and this lightning or this this lightning effect I think is like way too strong and it is kind of unnecessary you can you could make this like tune this a little bit down or give us the option uh, so we can decide if we want to have these effects or if we want if we don't want to have these effects uh, I don't want to need to have a custom ini in order to turn this off I don't even know if I could turn this off with a custom ini but I don't want to have to alter some files in the game in order to yeah in order to make the game suit me with genesis 2 it's also problematic because you need these missions and these difficulties to do the bosses that is like a big problem for me because in order to do the um, gamma boss the beta boss and the alpha boss i need to beat these missions in gamma beta and alpha with the enforcer i do have gamma and i do have beta i'm missing alpha and with alpha i'm a little bit scared that i have to 
do it over and over again and that might trigger another migraine for me so i will have to turn it down a little bit and not do like five missions a day or just do one a day and if it doesn't work then i just do something else but i would love to have the option to turn it down a little bit then I want to talk about something that is well made and something that is very close to my heart and I'm super excited about that it's in the game and that's the survive the arc mission that is the most fun I had in arc in a very long time and I have a lot of fun in arc like don't get me wrong it's not like I hate my life when I start arc no but this is like one of the things added to the game and I already uh, like the gauntlet missions in Genesis 1. There's also one of my favorite missions. But Survive the Ark is the fun I had with the gauntlet missions in Genesis 1, but then just like a thousand percent more. So many things were taken into consideration to make Survive the Ark better than the other gauntlet missions. You do not pick up weapons when you run over them, thank you very much. Like the point system like uh, what else the bosses that you can have you can bring animals with uh, in it to fight for you you can have different strategies you do not have to do like the same thing over and over and over again you have the chance to do more rounds in order to get better loot like we already had with the extinction drops where you could just go on with the purple drops and would get more loot after this so this is something i really like and i think survive the arc is one of the missions that for me has the most fun if you grind it like if you do it over and over again because every mission is different and every outcome is different and it's it is like one of those missions where you will have the most fun if you continuing if you continue doing them over and over again so if you have these on repeat then you will have the most fun other ones are can get a little bit grindy but that's one of the missions where i think uh, a lot of things have been done right. I love that it's <laughs> that it's like surrounded with every map that we have played before. Every round represents a different map, and that is like so well thought through. Honestly, like you can you can probably tell how much love I have for this mission, even though I just beat it in gamma and in beta, and I'm completely failing in alpha. If you have tips for alpha, please let me know. We're not doing enough damage. We're not dying, but we're not doing enough damage in the first round. Give me your tips in the in the comments, I want to know. But I have so much love for this mission and I would love to see, I don't know, maybe even maybe even like a game mode that is just like a fighting arena like this. Guys, make it happen. I hope that a lot of people will use the time and the possibilities to maybe make their own missions. I know the possibilities are there. The dev kit supports own missions like mod missions but i have not seen a mod adding missions actually so if you know a mod let me know in the comments i would love to try it out i would love to see what modders come up with as mission types and if there's anything that is uh, worth for me looking into it so that is my opinion to the missions and i hope you liked this topic and i hope you like me talking about a topic like this and i hope you like the background video in which i do choose your own adventure alpha it's one of the missions we also love to do and we still keep doing this the alpha mission with uh, with our tribe and with our alliance it's a really nice mission so if you haven't done this one yet get your get yourself some good gear and try it out this is really fun and yeah, that was my video about the missions. Let me know what you think and I hope I will see you in the next video. Have a good day. Thank you for hanging out. Bye bye.